So, in reality, the more tough the times are like COVID, the more blessed we are. We are really, really, really lucky that we are living in these very uber stressful and times when things are not easy. Because that means that our souls, our mature souls, which have grown and are strong enough to bear the cross of COVID times. It's a very strange time. So many people are dying. And a lot of people were aged and a lot of people were not aged also. And different things are happening. Well, always different things are happening. So, But these are COVID times. So this will be remembered as a very stressful time. And the people who lived in these times will be regarded maybe even us in different lives looking at uh, reading about this time and we will say oh these people were very heroic or they had because the name of the game was never to live easy it never was we are supposed we are born for very tough life Easy is the way that we feel inside managing tough situations. Life is not easy, cannot be easy, will not be easy. But our management of life, that is super easy. And for that management of life, there's so many self books saying, do this, do that, etc. But the key is trust in the universe because the universe is your friend. We live in a time when we think, oh, I am fighting and all the movies from Hollywood, they are based on the South philosophy of existentialism, which says human being is alone and he's fighting in this cold and very unfriendly uh, environment and he is always uh, alone he is a superman some of these are superman about those the stories are written they are the heroes of the movies everyone watches those movies and has to emulate watch and learn but the superman is alone fighting he may have a sidekick a reflection of his ego but essentially managing life in a hostile environment that is existentialism and all of Hollywood and all the bestsellers are about the fight of the, it used to be fight hero, now it's more, more of the fighting heroine, but one individual against the odds of the society. And once in a often someone like Bill Gates, Elon Musk comes and we start to treat these people as gods or who, who, what is a god in our society? I know some of you are actors, etc. So you don't like it, but an actor is basically a person who is very good in telling lies. The base of every society is to tell the truth. <laughs> the base of any society, relationship, all the actors, we only want to be, we will die for the truth. Yeah, but your actor is like, and the society is also like this. If you ask, I was asking someone, uh, okay, can you accept this as the truth? He says, no, I watched Star Trek. And in Star Trek, in one of the seasons, the hero, uh, Captain Shatner says, no, I must fear my, uh, I must face my fear alone. And the, and the guy was Jewish. So I was saying, you are disregarding your huge legacy of being Jewish. And you're quoting some actor who read this line based on somewhat some screen, a team of screenwriters wrote to make this film more effective sounding. And you are taking that as a credo of your life. Because we make these heroes. Musk is a hero, but he can smoke and his words can move the market, the crypto market can go up, can go down based on a Twitter from one person. 
So it's a very, very volatile means it doesn't have any substantiation to it. And money, everyone thinks that we are in a hostile world. Why? Because I have less money than the other person. So the world is very hostile and it's so difficult to make money. Of course it is difficult to make money. But it is even much more difficult to make, make honest money and live in honest money. That is a very difficult art to have enough, to make enough money, even if it is $1, $10, $100, 1000 but you make honest money and you live in within that means, then you are a super person. And everyone else you are blessing. Oh, you made a thousand times more than I did. Great. That means that the universe is friendly towards you. But the universe is friendly towards everyone. Especially us. Because spirituality is the real wealth. When you open your eyes and see the material world, some people have more money, some people have less money, some people have more success relating to this, some people have more relations. So there is miss, more or less, etc. And spirituality is something that opens all of us to an open heart leading to the feeling that you are. You are and you have abundance. But we are always comparing. We always think that, oh, something more. Today, just now, uh, today in the day, I had an interview. To, I already got a job, a good job. But I wasn't comparing it. So today I had a second interview with another company and the company was a government entity. And the government clerks were so, it was a one hour interview. They did not even one time smile. They did not smile one time. There was no joke. Very dry. The interview was good. Like uh, I've got experience in the area that they asked. They had a question. But really, do I want to be working with these people? Even though like if you get into this government job, then it does take care of the factor that you will not be laid off anymore. So that was why I took this interview, even though I have the other job. But that comfort that in this job of cyber security, which is my profile, information security, you cannot be laid off, made these people very, very unenthusiastic because comfort makes you dumb. Think of it, if you have a car and you even drive to the grocery and everything, etc. You have the comfort of a car. And then your legs don't get exercised. You start to pick up weight and all that. We are always thinking in terms that the other person is like when you go into the supermarket, etc. There are lots of people in especially in states and in Canada who are driving their uh, they're invalid chairs, basically. The chair is meant for people with disabilities and they can sometimes be even be speeding across. And you're like, oh man, what a cool thing that they sit and they zip around here and there and they go from one place to another. They don't even use their legs, etc. I had a friend who was in the business of selling these chairs. And he told me that after one year of getting this chair, a lot of these people start going mad because they have the comfort of not walking. A forced comfort. But because they are not walking, something inside goes astray. So they sell these chairs, but after a while, after one year, he says a lot of people start complaining of going mad. It's a fact. And when you see them, oh, some guy is just maybe pretending that he doesn't have this or that and he's zooming around in his chair, motorized, uh, motorized uh, rocking chair, basically. And you think oh, for five seconds, oh, wow, not bad, not bad. But that comfort of not walking after some time makes them mad. 
So these discomforts that we have, and each one has a cross. Each person when we are born has got a cross. So our job is to, to have gratitude for our cross. And the cross can be anything. Can be relationship issues, money problems. If you will take a look at my resume, so many changes. So every six months or one year, I again have to look for a job or something. So that's my cross. And I have to love my cross. If I can love my cross, my biggest whatever I thought was my challenge or this, etc. It's not easy. I can never live with having a face like that, but I live, but I don't love it, but I live. You can have compromises also, but I'm talking, this is just superficial thing, but everyone is going to be having a cross. So you can close your eyes right now and think what is that one thing that hurts you so much. And each person right now will visualize First of all, cross in the center of the forehead. When I will say Amin three times, you will drop the cross to your heart. So we'll start with here. I will say Amin three times. You will, you, some of you already have dropped it to your heart. Amin. Amin. The moment the cross is in your heart. Now three more times and we are taking the, heart, the cross to the deepest part of the heart. First Amin, just in the center of your heart. Amin. Second heart, second Amin. In the deepest part of your universe. Amen. Third Amin. The deepest part of your heart. The deepest part of your universe. The deepest part of the heart of everyone connected with you. Amen. The presence of Amin, cross of Jesus in the center of your heart's heart, the center of the heart of everything and everyone, from which everything was created and radiated out. You are right now in the center of everything and everywhere, the point of creation Before time began, before space began. One consolidated energy of pure divine creator's love. Supposing God is everything but not love, then is it a God that you would like to be connected with? Of course not. If God has all the attributes, but this one attribute is missing, then what would be the value? It is like the story of the person in the 19th century in India, people used to be looking for a groom for their daughter and that. So a family goes and asks the groom, we are looking, you seem to be a suitable match for our daughter. Will you, will you be, and you seem to be from a good family. So are you from a good family? The person says yes. And do you have a good earning? He says, yes, I make a lot of money. And do you drink? No, I don't drink. Do you smoke? I don't smoke. He says, you seem to be a wonderful guy. We, will, we would like to invite you to our home and marry our daughter. We have a lot of money and you can do this. 
so you have we want to say to us that you have no defects and the person says no i have one defect so is okay one defect is okay but which defect is it and the guy says well i tend to tell a lot of lies about myself so the same thing with god if god has every attribute but doesn't have love then it's a useless god <laughs> so focus on the important attribute of love and in the center of because god when i say i see that people have different connotations and ramifications and ideas about god but we are going to the before these ideas of god came up before time and space when everything is and not is when there is just pure force of love and this divine love is pulsing radiating as an energy it is not stable it is radiating in your heart and this radiation at a level of heart of this golden cross is happening with Oh um oh um oh um as you are focused on this divine vibration of pure love in your heart you reach back to a time before time started and you decided on what life you will have on this planet in this life, in this time and space you are the director you are the scenarist you are the producer you are the actor and everyone else is a reflection of you enabling you to play the role that you want you are the romeo of this life you are the hercules of this life you are all the heroes and you are all the villains in one and you decide each one of you is the center of this magical film of your life each one is the central hero or hero you are at the center of focus in your life but this you has selected a particular role you are going to be a mother you are going to be a father you are going to be a daughter different roles and you decide on this name and this body you decide on it and you ask other spiritual powers of love to help you with this play and the whole universe is helping you play this role which you have selected for yourself and each role in your previous life in this past life in the future life has got some challenges that you have created with the desire me i learn harmony while playing this difficult role just like an actor who is a billionaire is playing the role oh while i am on the planet i will pretend that i have a name i have a face and all these stories of my life are important to me 
I will pretend. But in reality, I am an infinity of love flowing through this body, flowing through all the bodies, connected to everything and everyone. For me, there is no past, present or future, but everything is now. No past, no present, no future. Everything is just is. No good, no bad, no neutral. Everything just is. No friend, no enemy, no relative, no stranger. Everything and everyone just is. Your existence and the existence of everything and everyone are interconnected. And you have decided on the road. May I in this life not have a partner who respects me? Okay, I will play this role. May I in this life never have enough respect from the other people on this planet? Okay, done. May I in this life never have a lot of money or may others have more of it. Okay, done. May I, my children never understand. Okay, done. May I have physical problems. Okay, done. All these crosses are blessings. And you select whichever blessing you want for this life. You select them. Loneliness, not having enough money, not having enough opportunities. Living in times of COVID, not being understood, not getting enough love from the people around you. Each of these crosses, embrace it as Christ embraced his cross. And by kissing, embracing, becoming one with the cross or crosses that you might be having, you become one with God. The supreme divine love power playing this game of having many contrasts see your cross recognize your cross fall in love with your cross see the cross as a blessing Jesus was tortured physically, but we remember him because he saw it as a blessing. So see your cross as a blessing. I'm going to be saying Om 108 times. And in these 108 times, I don't want you to hear the Om. I want you to feel the energy of Om inside you. The primal the first, what Bible says in the beginning was the word. That word, Om and Amin, they are the same. They are twins. I'm going to be saying Om and you're going to feel it. And in your heart, you're going to be accepting your cross as a blessing that you love. Oh. Feel it pulsing at a heart level. Oh. 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 
Total attention on the golden light at heart, spreading love and accepting your blessings. All your crosses to be accepted as blessings. All your relationship issues, all your money issues, all your health issues. To be accepted with love as a blessing. Some The blessing that you wrote for yourself and treated yourself and gifted yourself with. Oh. Oh. The whole group has one golden heart reflected in different bodies, but one heart. Feel the vibration of the golden energy expanding Accepting your blessings, your individual blessings, your personalized, customized crosses of love that you had seen with fear, anger, envy, jealousy, doubts. See all these, your individual cross as a golden blessing, which you gifted in a higher self to yourself, just like a father would give to the child dumbbells or something to exercise so that you become stronger. Oh. Oh. Offer the vibration of your heart to the whole universe with gratitude for your crosses, for your problems, for your challenges that you now see as blessings. Offer gratitude from your golden vibration of our common heart reflected in each of you individually. Sending love, golden love from your heart.
Keep on radiating love and see yourself as your favorite God in the center of your heart. See yourself as one with Jesus, Mother Mary, Shiva, Buddha, Vishnu, Rama. Allah, whichever form is your favorite and comes to your mind or whichever person you represents God for you, Saint Teresa, whoever, see yourself as one with the person in your heart, see the image of God as your favorite form of God right now. Om. 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 Now let this image of being one with God become hard, crystallized and solid in the deepest part of your heart so that this figure of your favorite form of God radiating and showering blessings of gratitude for all the crosses of this past and present because everything right now is let the figure become cemented core hardened in your deepest part of your heart energy the figure of favorite form of it can be guru nanak it can be buddha it can be mother teresa it can be jesus it can be mother in any form father in any form feel the power of your intention that you want to be one with god and solidify that Crystallize it, materialize it, manifest it. There is no limitation. There is no restriction. It is whatever your favorite form of God is.
this manifestation and solidifying of the image of God or in your favorite form can only happen when your heart is pure, when you have no pain, no fear, no, ang no anger, and you are enlightened with your true golden heart energy. Now from now on, whichever form is in the deepest part of your heart, cemented, golden, manifested. Live your life in name of the God inside you. So be an agent of spreading the blessings of the godliness deep inside you, manifested right now. Amen. Om. Om Namo Shivaya. From your golden heart, in the center of your golden heart, see the manifestation of God, concrete, and it will happen. If not now, it will happen in three days. Your willpower is enough for it. And then live as an agent, spreading blessings in every way, accepting your challenges with grace and love, seeing everything as a role that you have to play with grace and honor. No matter what the role asks for, it's just show business. In reality, you are total divine love energy manifested in your heart, but acting as if you are just a simple person. You are acting as if you are a simple person, but the divine forces have been activated in the deepest form part of your heart and that is the energy that is flowing out from every pore every pore every action is going to reflect the divine energy and to activate it all you have to do is visualize the manifestation of your favorite form of god in the deepest part of your heart and feel the vibration oh um, om namo shiva oh um, Om Namah Shiva. We are connected with Catherine and we are sending to her. Om. Um, Om Namah Shiva. Ji Om. Um, Om Namah Shiva. Galyak. Vizulirvat for samam sentre saiva sesa. Obras boga. To illubini obras. Manifestory with with the nada ya takka concrete na stool ka more na takka concrete na is the chat lovey ya activizero teta form of nutrisebe ipatom na charge the stool na znae sto ti again teta o form of nutri om amin om namah shivaya gali om amin om namah shivaya om Amin. Om Namah Shivaya. Gora. Om. Amin. Om Namah Shivaya Ji. Om. Amin. Om Namah Shivaya Lina. Om. Amin. Om Namah Shivaya Lina. Om. Amin. Om Namah Shivaya Lina. Om. Amin. Om Mami Nom Namasya Kriti Om Mami Nom Namasya Rita Om Mami Nom Namasya Rul Om Mami Nom Namasya Vedarina Om Mami Nom Namasya Marina See yourself from this moment reborn like a phoenix as an agent of the divine infinity of love manifesting concretely as an image in your heart. You can now play the role of your life fully cognizant and in love with your challenges and with your crosses. 
bless yourself with the ability to take your cross as your blessing and become a teacher for others everyone is watching everyone become a teacher for your loved ones by having no judgment no pain no anger no pain no fear no irrational fear and bless everyone and everything unconditionally oh um, the more you will see the divine the divinity in your favorite form in your heart blessing everything and everyone the more you will gain the superpowers of having a smiling heart om um, om um, namah shivaya good